Hi everyone, I'm Ivano Landini and today I'm gonna show you how to create a simple animation in Blender with the artificial intelligence. Let's do it! First, we need to go to ChatGPT, a free online software created by OpenAI that allows us to talk with an artificial intelligence by a chat. The next step is to ask it to generate a script for us in Python for the version of Blender that we are using. So now we can proceed by asking it to generate a spiral composed of 100 spheres with 7 turns. But you can ask whatever you want to this AI to get uh, the result that you want. So let's now click, then wait for his answer. So now that we have it, we can simply copy it and paste it uh, into Blender. So now that we are into Blender, let's now go to script, create a new one, let's paste it, and then we can simply go with Alt P to run the script. So now, as you can see, we have our spheres creating a spiral, something very fun to see. Now that we have it done, we can simply click A to select all, click on Shade Smooth, and here we are. So now that we have our sphere, we need to proceed by creating our scene for our render. So let's now go down here, let's change it to cycle, let's change it to GPU, let's go to denoise, click on OptiX if you have it, OptiX. Then we will need to create our camera, so let's create one. Then we're gonna need to change some values to get what we want, so let's do it. Minus 35, Z of 5.5. Our rotation will be 90 degree, zero and zero. And for our focal length, 50 will be just fine. So now that we have it, we can split, disable the guy, click on N and T to hide the old guy and click on zero to see what camera sees. So now that we have it, the next step is to create our light. So let's do it. We're gonna create uh, some simple light, but I'm gonna show you how. So let's first create one area light like this. Let's turn it like this go to the side. So let's now change the power to 1500 like this. Then we're gonna need to get a second light down here. Then we will need a light from the upper side, something like this. Like just perfect. Always keep uh, 1500. So the next thing we're gonna need is to change our word properties. So let's do it. Let's go to shading. Let's go into word. Down here we have to create a new sky texture. Click the color into the color, change it to Hosek Wiki. Then we're going to change our turbidity to 8 and our grad alb to 0 0.8. Perfect. Then we're going to need to change our strength to 1.5 and here we are. So now the last thing that we're going to need for the scene is a plane down here. Just perfect. Then we're going to need to go into the tap mode, go to adds click on extrude, Z to go all the way up, then we're gonna need to click on it, Control B to bevel, let's increase the bevel to something like this, and then we're gonna shade smooth it. Another thing that we're gonna need is to create another light that is gonna help us to light up the background. Let's turn the power to 2700, something like this, just perfect. We can scale up a little bit 
highlight something like this just perfect like this just perfect then another thing that we're gonna need is to get a little down our background and here we are so now we have all the sphere with standard materials the next goal is to randomly apply materials to our spheres but we will not do this manually we will ask to the ai to do it for us so let's start by creating some material first so let's create some of them let's go down here let's click on some material perfect that we're going to call it white then we can go down here let's create a new material change the base color to something like this more light something more reddish like this then we're gonna need to bump up a little bit our specular let's turn all the way down the roughness and here we are so now we need another material let's call it gray then we're gonna need to create a dark material something like this that we're gonna turn a little up our metallic and here we are so let's now create another one that we will call it orange let's create an orange material something like this a little more lighter something like this let's now turn down a little bit our roughness and here we are so let's create another material that it will be our glass so let's create a super simple glass let's go down here change it to glass yes the F then we just need to change our IOR to something like 1.21 something like this so here we are our last material will be our metallic material so let's create a new one call it metal let's now change our base color to something like pinky reddish something like this let's turn all the way up our roughness our metallic sorry and let's turn down a little bit our roughness something like this even a little less something like this and here we are with our materials so now that we have created our materials we can proceed by going back to chat gpt and asking to the ai to generate a script that randomly applies our material so let's do it so now let's ask it to give us our script that uh, randomly apply our materials let's go wait for your response so now we can copy our script now let's go back into blender let's go to script let's paste our new script as you can see down here it has a control if the object has already a material and it will change only if the objects has a material on it so to do around that we can simply select all of our material and let's copy material to select it so now all the objects have our material so now if we go with lp we have all our beautiful objects with this material randomly applied so now that we have done the last thing we're gonna need is to change our material for the background so let's create a new one call it bg let's now choose a new background color something like this will work just fine a little more light and here we are so now let's go with the last part of the tutorial let's create a super simple animation so let's go all the way down let's select all of our spheres except for the zero 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 so let's do it then control the zero then click down here let's parent it object 
now that we have burnt it, if we move it, all of the spheres will move around with it. So let's return. Then we're gonna need to drag up our animation. Let's create a 90 frame animation, something very simple that is gonna loop itself infinitely. Then we're gonna first need to move our spiral. So let's click on our sphere, let's click I, let's create a new keyframe for location, rotation and scale. Then we're gonna go with the last frame and do the same thing so that we have the start and the finish at the same position. So now let's go to 45, let's drag a little bit near the camera our spiral <clears throat> and we're gonna insert a new location frame here we are then we will change our rotation to something like this on this position just to help us to get a little bit of movement of the spiral so let's now create a new keyframe for the rotation and now as you can see we start to have something so the next thing we're gonna need is to get our spiral to rotate on itself so let's change some values down here zero will be just fine and here we will need a multiplier of 360 so let's go to like 7 20. So let's go to 35 degrees, change it to 360. Okay, and as you can see now, we start to have our perfect animation. Another thing that we can do is to select all of our keyframes. Let's right click on it, go to interpolation mode, click on linear. So now, as you can see, when it's gonna loop, it's gonna be simply indistinguishable. So now another things that you can do is to go down here on color management and change our look to very high contrast or high contrast, that's better. And now we have our finished animation. Now that we have our animation, we can go with the last part. So we can add a little motion blur. Let's turn down a little bit, 0.3 will be just fine. So now we can simply render it and I'm gonna show you the final result. So now that our animation is over, I invite you to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. We will see in the next video. Bye bye.